It's not clickbait. I'm gonna sell this thing. If you're interested in buying my big turbo GTI, the email to contact me will be in the description. It's ignitiontube at gmail.com. Uh, shoot me an offer and uh, we can talk and, and figure things out. Also, the link to the Facebook ad is in the description, so that has all the info and everything else, but we'll run through it in this video after I talk to you guys why I'm selling it. I think it's, it's you know, it's like some, something I have to be honest about. Uh, I bought this car thinking that this was going to like catapult my YouTube channel. Like everybody was like, buy a GTI, buy a GTI, or at least all the commenters were. And I was like, damn, like I can get a GTI, but let me buy a big turbo one with a built motor already because that'll get me like, uh, people won't be interested in stage one and stage two and, and they'll be interested in what they can do after stage one and stage two. The reality I think is that a lot of you guys can't relate to this car because uh, you're either an Audi person or you're a Volkswagen person but you're more interested in like stage one, stage two, KO4 than you know a, a $10,000 motor build and a, a big turbo kit on top of that. So uh, what happened is the views on this car flopped. I bought the car for the wrong reasons, so my kind of satisfaction in the car was coming through the views, and the views weren't there, so therefore I was just not satisfied with the car at all. Now, I fell into the classic YouTube pitfall of buying a car, buying a car, buying a car, making content, buying a car, buying a car, buying a car, buying a car uh, where the reality is, I don't think that's what you need to do. Like, you guys seem plenty interested in the SQ5, and I've been making videos on that for a year and a half, so I think what uh, what draws you guys to these videos, and, and comment below if, if I'm completely wrong, but I think what draws you guys to these videos is my passion about the car. I think it was kind of obvious with, with COVID and everything hitting that this car just like wasn't doing it for me and uh, there wasn't enough kind of external stimuli in, in this like car summer to make me happy about this car. Now, don't get me wrong, it's super fun to drive. It's an absolute hoot. I mean, it's a big turbo car, so it's, it's, you know, it's fast, it's fun, it's a GTI, it's a manual. There's nothing wrong with the car. Obviously, there was some cosmetic stuff. We fixed it for the most part. The car looks really nice, actually. It does not pass Massachusetts inspection because it doesn't have a catalytic converter. So, um, if you're going to buy the car, just keep that in mind. You're going to have to do an O2 spacer, flashback to stock, do the readiness cycle, all that fun stuff. I honestly did want to turn it up, and I have the fuel system for it to turn it up. I just... Like, I, I, I can't justify the investment into this car anymore. And so I'm going to sell this thing for a loss because uh, I think that's the right thing to do for me and for my channel. I'm trying to buy uh, potentially another car and get rid of the SQ5. And I just don't think it makes the most sense to, uh, to keep this guy. Now, I, I do like this car. There's nothing wrong with that. But the problem is I bought the car for the views and the views didn't come. And so ultimately my purpose for the car wasn't satisfied because I fell into YouTube. Like, that's my fault. And, and I'm not going to make you guys pay for something uh, like crazy amounts just because it's my fault that I, I bought the car um, With that said, I'll run you through the car real quick and it is for sale actively for sale right now First come first serve if you're interested There's an email in the description like I said and also the link to the full Facebook ad 2010 GTI it's an Audubon package if you didn't know it's got a fully bolt motor rods piston valves all that fun valve springs all that fun stuff um, it's got a GT3071 on it, makes about 17 pounds, probably about 350 wheel horsepower. It's very conservatively tuned because the only fuel system upgrade this car has is the GM LNF injectors. It doesn't have enough fueling to make more power than what it's making right now. Maybe like a little bit more if you want it to be unsafe, but it's on a very safe tune right now. So uh, I had the injectors and low pressure fuel pump, which should take you to mid 400s at the tire. I just didn't go through with it. Anyway. Um, I can sell the car on these HRE R40s. These are forged with R888s on them. Um, for my, my goal is to get 12 for the car as is on the HREs or 10.5 on the stock wheels with bald tires. I'm open to offers, so just email me. We'll figure something out. I do need this car gone. It's taking up space. I'm like right in the flight path in the spot that I chose to film, but uh, I do need the car gone. I need the space. Um, it's been staying at my parents' house and that just doesn't work out. So uh, I need the car gone. I'm open to offers, whatever you, you think is reasonable. Um, again, I'm asking 12 on the HREs. I'm asking 10 and a half on the stock wheels with the bald tires. Uh, I'm happy to help you with shipping anywhere to the country, um, all that fun stuff. I have a contact for shipping. Um, but yeah, the, aside from that, on the interior, the car is an Autobahn package, like I said, so it has the navigation. It's got the fun LEDs with the little remote and all that stuff. Um, it's full leather, no plaid here. I've um, got the LEDs in the, the ceiling, and then it does have the fairly desirable Dyn Audio package. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the car's really nicely packaged. It's a nice car. It shifts really well and uh, all that fun stuff. That was a, a 
elementary school friend's mom that just walked by. That's awkward. It's a really nicely packaged car. I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with this car. Um, it does have a couple dents on the outside, a couple dings on the outside. You'll see them listed in the Facebook ad. Uh, the front bumper is really rough. It has a lot of paint chips. It was resprayed and resprayed very poorly. The rear bumper was also resprayed, but it's not as bad. Um, and there's a strip of vinyl over the bottom of the trunk because the previous owner primered the car wrapped over it and then didn't tell me. So I discovered that. I'm gonna be transparent with you guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Uh, again, it's a really nice car. I'll take you guys for a quick rip if the sun doesn't go down uh, and there's uh, no traffic. But yeah, I'm, I'm bummed to see it go. Like I, I do like the car, it's just, it's not serving its purpose. And so, uh, you know, what can you do? Let's, let's go for a quick ride. And if you're interested, there's a Facebook ad in the description and also the email in the description. One other thing that I should mention that I totally forgot, the chassis has 132,860 miles on it right now. That shouldn't go up because I'm not driving the car. The built motor only has 35,000 miles on it. Up for a quick trip to the GTI. It looks like there's a lot of traffic. Okay, so the noise you're hearing right now is the tires. There are comps, they're loud. But, believe it or not, they were even louder before because the wheel bearings were bad in the front. So it has fresh wheel bearings on the front, fresh brakes on all four corners if you missed that video, um, fresh coilovers, fresh wheels and tires obviously, uh, short shifter, all the mods are in the description, but in case you're lazy. Um, uh, like I said, fully built motor. Um, on the interior, really nothing's missing except one of the uh, little trim pieces right here next to ESP off is uh, it's not there so you can stick your hand all the way down into uh, to adjust your transmission or whatever
Email's in the description. The Facebook ad is in the description. As always, uh, I appreciate you guys following along. Uh, I apologize for falling into this uh, YouTube kind of trap. I think I'm better than that. And uh, I just made a mistake. It is what it is. We learn from them. We make more. We learn from those. And uh, eventually uh, figure it out. Until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I will try to be more consistent on YouTube. I know I haven't been recently. As always, thank you guys for watching. Go out there and spread some positivity. And I will catch you guys in the next video.